Hello friends, welcome to Indo Tales from Life. In this episode, we are going to see a demonstration video of a product that is not new in the market, but I started using recently, so I thought I'll make a video about it. So as usual, let me disclaim that I do not have any financial interest towards this product. And I recently bought this product called the Composite Warmer from Delta, which is available from Vijay Dental Depot. And after I placed the order, this is how I received it. The manufacturer gave all the technical specifications and also the instruction manual was pretty simple and clear on how to use this device. So this is the device which is used for warming either the composite syringes or the compules of composites or even the irrigants before being used for root canal irrigation. So the reason why I choose this product though we have a lot of composite warmers available in the market is that this is the device that to my knowledge has a good temperature range from 40 degrees up to 100 degrees Celsius. Whereas most of the other composite warmers that I saw that were available had a maximum temperature range of only 50 or sometimes up to 55 or 60 degrees Celsius. Let me tell you why this is important because the benefits of warming composites are beyond doubt being explained with a lot of literature back up of up to 15 years. In this is the recent uh, edition of Biomimetic Resident Textbook by Dr. Pascal Magne and this is the warming protocol that they recommend which is around 70 degrees like 68 degrees for 10 minutes. So you can clearly understand why we want this product to have a good temperature range which is above 60 degrees Celsius. So warming composites has a lot of benefits like reducing the viscosity uh, of even a highly filled composite that's not compromising on the strength but still can be used for a lot of applications like bonding in direct composites or injection molding direct techniques as well. So those syringe composites can also be warmed. We know that when you place a syringe and warm the entire syringe, the amount of composite that you're going to actually use is very little. So what may happen is you'll be ending up warming the composite again and again when you're warming the entire syringe and uh, the amount of composite that you're going to actually use is very less. So I personally prefer to use compules for warming. So you can either use composites that are directly available in compule form like you can see this is a new spectra compule from Densply. There are also other brands which have compules. So the availability of composite in a compule form is limited in India right now. So I will also show you how you can make your own compute at the end of this video. First let's see the demonstration of this product. So like I mentioned this product is pretty simple to use. It directly connected to the power source and just switch it on and set the temperature range that you want. We will be keeping it around 60 to 70. And here I am using compules. I put it in the gun and leave it into the slot that fits well. We are going to leave it for 10 minutes, that's the recommendation. And then it's ready to go. So here in this video, you can see on the top, I am using a composite from a packable composite from a compule at room temperature and the bottom you can see it's a warm composite. We can appreciate the decrease in viscosity, which makes it to be used for different applications like I mentioned for even bonding in directs or to have a better flow in direct composites. So this is the details of the products available here from Vijay Dental Chennai and this is the price of the product. So additionally along with this you can also buy these uh, cavifils from the same person and these are for you to make your own computes when you only have a syringe based composite you can make your own compule with these. So they generally sell a pack of 50 compules. You know, uh, basically they have these three. One is the compule, the other one is the plunger, and the third one is called the locator. So I'll just show you how you can do this yourself so that you can have your compule or make your own compule even when you just have a syringe based composite. So you can take any composite of your choice. Here it's a Shofu composite and this is the function of the locator that they are given. The locator fits to the syringe 
and then this is then adapted to the empty compute and as you turn the syringe the compute gets loaded with the composite so according to the manufacturer this is a nice easy way to transfer this composite from the syringe to the compute in an uncontaminated way so you can either follow this method or I'll also show you another technique so along with a pack of 50 compules they give you 50 plungers and 4 locators so after loading the plunger onto the compule you just load it to the compule gun it's a universal compule gun you can use it from any brand and you can see your compule is ready so there is one drawback that I felt with this comp with this locator is not all brands of composite syringe fits into this locator and also I felt there is a lot of wastage in the locator as you can see here so I feel there can also be used another way where you can directly take a sterile plastic instrument take the exact amount of composite that you would want to or load the entire compules where you can use the compules till it's going to be empty and these compules according to the manufacturers are disposable that is once your composites are empty it is disposable but from what I heard from some of the friends they said they do reuse by loading composites more and more but even if you dispose it after single use it's still going to be economical because a pack of 50 compules is just for 1200 odd so it's not that expensive it still will work out much economical than buying composites in a ready-made compule form So that's it from today's video. I hope this video would be beneficial to people who have a lot of doubts about whether to use warm composites. So if you guys are really interested, maybe I'll show you the indications of warm composite in upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.